Hey, Samantha. Um, so I spent a few, maybe like a half hour looking for that citation from Moz. Um, couldn't find it. I think it was either in a Whiteboard Friday or in um, a presentation Rand did. Uh, so it's a little bit trickier to find. It's not something easily searchable. But um, uh, I'll keep looking for it. And uh, I may be mistaken. It might, might have been a different citation or something like that. So just take it with a grain of salt, um, I guess, when you're looking at what to do. Uh, for your second question about um, looking and audit, doing like an audit on the blog and things like that, I, I wouldn't totally get too hung up on removing content completely, uh, especially when in the blog. Like the blog, it kind of is this self-contained um, little section on the site. Like, let's take one step back and, and quick revisit the purpose of a launchpad site. So the idea of a launchpad site is we want to get something out there quickly so we can start getting feedback from the user so that the user can dictate what are the most impactful things that we can work on for the user's perspectives and bring value um, to the user. What we don't want to do, what we want to avoid is the traditional route where we sit in the back office for three months tinkering away on this thing in our own bubble without, uh, with very, very minimal or no user interaction, which is a very designer-driven process um, versus getting something out there, letting the users play with it, and letting them dictate what to work on, um, which is a user-driven process. So that's the goal, is like get something out there quickly and do that by looking at the core functionality that's going to matter and get that out there. And then once the core functionality is out there, start iterating based off of user interaction. So if it's content they've already created, it's already in their blog, it's already set up, like you could put that, when we, when we make a list of all the wish list items that we want to do, that might end up on the wish list. Like, hey, we need to do a blog audit um, or we need to figure out how we improve um, old content or something like that. Um, you're probably going to have the conversation of like, how do we refresh it and um, allow that old content to have new life and, and revive it. Um, or the conversation might be around how do we, like there might be an action item around how do we improve like the UX or the na like navigation of the blog in terms of tagging, categorization, search functionality, all that. Um, you might have one on there on like what do we need to cut out, but my assumption is is that that card of what we need to cut out is going to be pretty low in the priority of item impactful items that you can do. Um, so I wouldn't get totally hung up on that. I think there's probably a lot more impactful things you can do um, on a Launchpad site. Um, and so hopefully that gives you a little bit of context on uh, where to focus your efforts and not get too hung up on that. Um, I think the the thread itself and the, the conversation itself is more around maybe old services pages, old other pages that are on your site that really don't hold a lot of value to the user um, and what to do with those. The blog content's kind of, um, because it lives in its own world and, and a lot of that can be refreshed into new content, uh, it might not be the most relevant for talking about topics on a blog. Cool, hope that helps, thanks.